Henley. The novel that I'm recommending to you is The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. It's one of my favourite novels that I've read in recent times and it's a real fantasy novel at its core. It has elements of romance and a bit of danger and some action and it's very exciting to read. Um, it's about two people who pick up two students and teach them magic or what seems to be magic and then put them in a competition against each other in an enchanted circus. It's unsure whether the magic that they're performing is real, but you get a sense that, that it kind of is, and it takes over their whole passion for each other and also their passion to win this game and this competition. The novel has been described as lush, evocative, dreamlike, addictive stuff. It's said that it leaves a tang of smoky caramel in the air as it ends and an undeniable urge to go to the circus. I think that that's a wonderful description. I'm just going to read the first page to you so you can get an idea of whether or not you think this novel would be for you. Chapter one, anticipation. The circus arrives without warning. No announcements precede it, no paper notices on downtown posts and billboards, no mentions or advertisements in local newspapers. It is simply there when yesterday it was not. The towering tents are striped in white and black, no golds and crimsons to be seen no colour at all save for the neighbouring trees and the grass of the surrounding fields. Black and white stripes on grey sky, countless tents of varying shapes and sizes, with an elaborate wrought iron fence encasing them in a colourless world. Even what little ground is visible from outside is black or white, painted or powdered, or treated with some other circus trick. But it is not open for business, not just yet. Within hours, everyone in town has heard about it. By afternoon, the news has spread several towns over. Word of mouth is a more effective method of advertisement than typeset words and exclamation points on paper, pamphlets or posters. It is impressive and unusual news. The sudden appearance of a mysterious circus. People marvel at the staggering height of the tallest tents. They stare at the clock that sits just inside the gates that no one can properly describe, and the black sign painted in white letters that hangs upon the gate, the one that reads, opens at nightfall, closes at dawn. What kind of circus is only open at night, people ask. No one has a proper answer. Yet, as dusk approaches, there is a substantial crowd of spectators gathering outside the gates. You are among them of course. I hope that's given you a flavour for what the novel is about and I really hope that you choose to read it. I especially recommend it to Key Stage 4 but I do recommend it to Key Stage 3 as well. There are moments where it's a little bit scary so if you know that you get scared easily maybe this one isn't for you but I would recommend Caraval as a nice alternative for our younger readers. Okay thank you very much, see you later Henley. Henley and Arden School, achieving excellence together.